tonight on Best Vacations in the World. Tanya Meme and Hunter Ellis journey to Los Cabos, Mexico. Magnificent beaches, thrilling adventures, world-class resorts. Discover why Los Cabos is the perfect getaway for today's times. Swimming with the dolphins was absolutely fantastic. You know, when I first thought, wow, I'm gonna go swim with the dolphins today, I thought this would be easy, no problem. But it was actually quite intimidating. The funniest thing that did happen is that I'm, you know, I'm treading water in the, in the middle of this huge pool. Dolphins come up and you never know where they're gonna come from. And they just pop up and the one dolphin could push me right across the pool really fast and my bathing suit was at my knees by the time I got, got to where Hunter was. <laughs> that was embarrassing. This is so fun and I can't believe we're like, just a few minutes from the beach. It was fun kind of having little competitions with Hunter, too. How's it feel? Not so bad, not so bad. Yeah, you're looking good. Thanks, Look Hunter. Look at your shoulder, look down. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave him a run for his money. Hi, I'm Tanya Memmi, and welcome to Sell This House. Today we're coming to you from Cheyenne, Wyoming. And right now I'm standing in front of the historic train depot. Not long ago, this place underwent a major renovation, which is kind of what we need to do to Bill and Francis's house. They could use some help from the Sell This House team, so that's why we're here. We're going to reorganize, redesign, and stage their house so they can finally get it sold. Welcome back. Today's day two of Sell This House. I'm Tanya Memmi, and I'm so excited today because I've never seen such a huge group of related people that are going to help us out on Sell This House. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm Tanya Memmi and welcome to Sell This House. Today I'm standing on the windy north shore of Maui, Hawaii. Today we're coming to you from beautiful Brooklyn, New York. Today we're coming to you from Savannah, Georgia. Today we're coming to you from beautiful San Diego, California. Today we're coming to you from Seattle, Washington. Today we're coming to you from Hollywood, California. Today we're in Austin, Texas where everything is so cute. Take me with you. Take me. All right, all right, all right. Hey, ET Canada, I am here with a very sexy Don oh. Diamant, who plays Brad Carlton on The Young and the Restless. <laughs> Have you ever been in love before? I think I just fell in love <laughs> right now. Yes, that's our own Tanya Meme in her very own soap scene. Oscar night is all about taking home the gold, but whether you win or not, all the stars are treated to a very fabulous feast, and I'm here to talk to the man in charge, Wolfgang Puck. Hello, good to have you here in my kitchen. Yes, he asked me if I wanted to wear a chef coat, and I said, sure. And then my producer said no. But I'm glad I almost wore. <laughs> the producer's always thinking visually, and they're like, yeah, maybe no. Uh, thank you. Oscar for my first Oscar. Here's Tanya Mimi, reporting from Cambodia. I grew up on a beautiful sod farm in Waynefleet, Ontario, and I had an extremely blessed childhood. I mean, I think my biggest problem was trying to figure out who's going to get the spoon with the most cookie dough on it between me and my brothers. But in a village just like this, right outside the city of Phnom Penh, and there's many of them, this is where children live not only their childhood, but their entire lives. So this is what Parody does every day. She grabs four bricks per hand. These are very sharp and awkward. Five pounds a hand. So there's 10 pounds of bricks right here. Takes the bricks, puts them on the truck, and she has to meet a quota of 10,000 bricks a day. When I hold Parody's little hands and I look at them, I can only imagine how much these hands have endured, much more than most of us in an entire lifetime in Canada. This is not the way that any child should live. And we can make a difference. Get in the know. Oh, oh, so nice to see the Elvis of the three, I thought. All right, interesting. Please welcome the host of A&E's Sell This House, Tanya Memmi. <laughs> Tanya Memmi is joining us now to tell us about all her great adventures. How are you, Tanya? I'm great. This is not good. I have chicken butt in my face. Okay. Just another colorful reason why people love this place. What's the first secret? What well, it's, it's an idea that's been around forever, but like, like you said, more people tend to know about it now. But the first thing you got to do is clean. It's crazy the things that I've seen and experienced. It's fun though, but um, it's a lot of work. Notice how Roger is not doing this. My dad is going to be so proud of me when he sees this. <laughs> This is a very dirty carpet. I know, I haven't been really paying much attention to the carpet, and this was like um, the original carpet. Why didn't you change it? 
Aqua I just, blue. Um, it reminds me of the sea. I, yeah, <laughs> with a lot of uh, pollution. I know, right? So this is the master's bedroom. Master's bedroom, and you're the master. Uh -huh. Cool. <laughs> um, the first thing I notice when I'm in here is this, this dresser yeah. is right in front of your closet. Well, that's because, you know... Now, we've seen a lot of strange things here on Sell This House, but we've never seen that before. Do you know how to open this? I'm under the impression... Do you work out very often, Gigi? I walk my dogs. That's her workout. Okay, we're going to start over by the ew section of the wall. It's gone! Well, it's dripping. you got to get all to see the bottom, how it's dripping. got to keep oh, okay. the eye aware. Uh-huh. Yep, there you go. She's doing oh, great. I love it. And she's a natural with that Viva Gold paint. Viva! Viva. Oh, <laughs> All right, get to work. Oh, yay. <laughs> Photos of her mother and grandmother complete the room. I can't help but know that, that they have a lot to do with why you guys found me. Yeah. This is a blessing, isn't it? Well, look, we're just as happy to be here as you are to have us. Trust me, we wouldn't have a show without you. So, and it's been a fun show, and thank you so much for letting Thanks. us come into your home and... <laughs> you know, giving up all control and letting someone else design it. It's a big deal. Thanks. And so we wanted to take the things that we knew were so important to you and really bring them into your home and make this a special place for you. I was hoping we did that. You did. She's Canadian, by the way. I oh, am. Yeah. Miss Canada? Miss World Canada. Miss World Canada. Yeah. We have royalty here today. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... Tanya, I have a question. Yeah. Do you, um, a lot of people use staging companies <laughs> to, um, yeah. because let's face it, a lot of people don't have taste. They don't know what the heck they're doing when it comes to decorating. And so these professionals come in and make it look great to sell the house. It's worth That's it. Right. Right? You have to drop five grand to do it, but it's worth it. No, 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 you don't. Oh. See, on our show, our budget is 500 bucks. That's the whole catch here. Wow. wow. Is, so. that, is that Canadian or U.S.? <laughs> <laughs> That's U.S. Okay. not Canadian. When were you Miss Canada, by the way? I think I was out of the country by then. But when 1994. You... Oh, I just moved to Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like <laughs> Well, you represent the country well. And you're working for um, you. Can Entertainment Tonight Canada, right? Yes. ET Canada. Oh, oh. Hey! Oh, wow, okay. Hey, Tanya, don't you think he's going to need that eventually? Hey, Cameron. Oh. Um, thought I'd bring you this. Whoa, whoa, well, uh... Miss Manners meet Countess Luann, Bravo's newest reality star, has it all on The Real Housewives of New York City, including some tips from high society. So take your elbows off the table, put your pinky in the air, and prepare to be enlightened. That's all the time we have for tonight, but tune in tomorrow at 9, 8 central for more Hollywood 411. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't. This is paradise. I mean, it's. I've been fortunate in my life to travel to many other countries in the world, and Cabo's only two hours away, and I was, I was completely engulfed in the romance, the adventure, so many things to do. Um, I have to come back. I have to come back. Day four, what a fantastic day. For me, it was a day of firsts. I did a lot of things that I've never done before. I did, you know, zip line, uh, rappelling, rock climbing. Rock climbing I've done before, but didn't feel like it. And I don't know, what's that thing where we kind of inched across and I almost fell off the wire? Uh, it was a commando, commando bridge. The commando yes. bridge. Yes. Yeah, I mean, oh. you had a lot of fun first, right? It was fantastic. If you want something exciting, fun, and just out of this world, you gotta, you gotta do what we did today. But the best part is you can have all of that and just a short distance away, we can come here to Las Ventanas. So true. And we can enjoy this beautiful setting on the beach with a glass of wine. This is exactly what the doctor has ordered. I agree. For any <laughs> ailment, you got to come here. You know what? Unfortunately, our trip here in Los Cabos has come to an end. But the good thing is, yours has just begun. We've had an amazing time. And I don't want to leave. Neither do I. Let's so, stay. All right. See you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs> bring it on. Bring it on. If there's any woman out there that thinks they can't go deep sea fishing, you gotta give it a shot because I was the one who caught the fish and not Hunter, Mr. Outdoorsy type. We walked into Cabo Wabo. She grabbed uh, one of the owners, Jorge, and hit the dance floor immediately. <laughs>